Whoa, this your boy Chef Wisdom Shabazz and I'm back at it. This time I'm cooking fried fish and fried grits. That is right, that's fried fish, two fried grit balls, and homemade tartar sauce. This was a good meal. You hear what I'm telling you? This was the meal of all meals, I'm telling you. So here I go. I'm starting off with canola oil. Now everybody know I'm infamous for frying things in lard, but I didn't have lard today, so I had to use canola oil. So I got my Magnolite pan and I put the canola oil in there. Now what you see me doing is working on my dredge, which is two cups of cornmeal, one cup of flour. And what I did was I took that fish because we caught this fish. We actually caught this fish. It's a catfish, croaker, and saltwater perch. I made a tablespoon well, which was salt, white pepper, paprika, sage, uh, Old Bay seasoning, uh, and garlic powder and onion powder. So I put that on there and I also let my fish marinate in mustard. I covered it in mustard and I put it in the refrigerator. And now I am coming out there putting it in the dredge, putting it to the side, getting it ready to put in that hot grease, which you're going to see in a second, right? So here we go, dropping the fish in the grease. I'm dropping all the little pieces of fish in the grease and I'm dropping the, uh, the perch and the, and the croaker in the, um, in the grease. So I'm gonna let that fish fry. Make sure you grease nice and hot. Just let it go, do what it do. Let it fry up. That's the catfish right there. That's three big. That's the three bigger catfish that we caught. And I'm telling you, boy, frying whole catfish is delicious, man. That is good eating. I'm telling you, that is really good eating. Frying whole catfish. Now you could buy whole catfish too, but we frying it. So that is right there. See, it's golden brown. Nice catfish. Now I'm about to work on my grit balls. And this blew my mama's mind. She was like, where you get this recipe from? I cooked this food Sunday evening. So Sunday morning before we went to church, I actually cooked grits and cheese. And this was left over. So I said, I'm going to make grits balls with this fried fish and fried grits. So I take the grits. You put them, make them in the balls, put them in the refrigerator, take them out, put them in a the freezer. And now I am doing the same thing. I got egg wash in my dredge from the fish. And I'm just coating it. Put it in the flour. Put it in the egg wash. Put it back in the flour. Now it's going in the hot grease. And that's all you do. And grits balls are so delicious. You could do them so many multiple ways. You can add ham to them. You can add bacon bits to them. You can add bell peppers to them. You can add jalapeno peppers to them. Anything you want to add to a grit ball, you can do it. But you have to put it in the refrigerator, then form the balls, then put it in the freezer for like two hours before you fry it. That way it don't break up on you and it stay, you know, it stays in a form that you intend for it to stay in, which is a ball form. So that's how I do it. And that's how we roll with it, baby. You know what I'm saying? The grits balls frying up. And it's on and popping. And this was a good meal. So y'all know how I get down. Like and subscribe. Share the video. And y'all be easy. This was a real good meal. Thank y'all and enjoy. Later.